They, they, they've adapted to the times. They were using strategies that can't be predicted in the sense that nothing was the same round after round. And so Big, completely unable to adapt their game plan to it, just getting rocked left, right, and center, not able to win any of the duels. They fought back a little bit in the second half. But yeah, Virtus Pro, they really executed hard, and they did what Dignitas should have done yesterday in the sense that they got it done. They closed it out. They didn't let Big manage to run it all the way back, and they didn't uh, lose control of the situation. So similar strategies, different results. But here we have it, VP up 1-0 going into Vertigo, and Big ready to go crashing onto the B site. Buster's going to be here. Some early warning. Yeah, he can't really do much other than, you know, try and fall back, play the next angle, hope for a headshot. They're going to try and see if they can do a little bit of clever boost up here. Why not? We'll get them a bit closer. Buster's actually putting himself now in a very dangerous position. I liked it more when he was further back. Now he's all in. He can't keep falling back, and he's going to get taken right down. Kick it. That's a good return, but he's very low on health. I don't know what. Some, something tagged him, and he's down to two health. So it's going to be a bomb plant. And um, that already is a good sign for Big. There's that one smoke. There is a kit as well on Sanji with some flashbangs. So Big are set up pretty nicely. This could be a really difficult retake. They need to take advantage of this smoke still being up, and now it's cleared. So when they come in through mid, it's going to be a whole bunch of bodies here. James going to find the first kill to kick things off. What a shot from Yakinder. Takes Tishin out of it as well. They're predicting everything here. It's down to Searson and Zantaris, and now just Searson. Last man alive for Big. 1v4 and... What was this? A flawless retake for Virtus Pro in the pistol. Big get the bomb plant, but VP get the kills. You can't not, you know, just love watching your Kindar play. He saw the gun barrel behind that metal beam in the in the far right corner, and he knew when he set up that. Like he, he already thought. I even think he probably thought, should I just try and take the shot and see if it goes through, which I don't, it wouldn't have done. So he's like, he sees it, and then he goes this swing here. That is him knowing beforehand. It's so cool. What an amazing player. Yeah, VP off to a good start here on Vertigo, winning the pistol round. Now there's more to come. Bombers plants it, so Galil's and an AK and a scout. Uh, Big are pretty heavily uh, armed in this one. A couple of grenades landing. Yakindar could have taken way more damage, but he's pushing forward and winning that str fight straight up. Tabs it only has a deagle as well. The Molotov not going to help him out, so already losing two players and all of the map control. The only thing they can really do is go for Buster right now and hope to win that fight and get the bomb down. And I mean, like, in the next five seconds, or it's going to be too late. Jamie even spotting mid. Buster gonna get that smoke down, trying to give himself some room. You're just gonna be able to get wall banged into oblivion from there. No hiding. He is gone. Tijin with another beautiful headshot. Whips around, takes down your kinder. Giving themselves the winning advantage here, big. Now they can have that bomb planted here on the B site. They just have to go and get it. Or they have to kill everybody. And that's exactly what's gonna happen. Nicely done. Big going tip for tat with Ooh. VP hitting the shots. Hmm. That's I mean. They did go pretty quickly big, and that wallbang shark on, Bust on Buster was really cool, but it also felt like VP, once they had that deep control on the A ramp, they probably could have had a couple more people towards the B bomb site, maybe a slight, slight bit earlier. Whatever. Good. I think that's a good round for big. That's pretty. That's really, really important. So It did seem like VP maybe were a, sl a, a tad bit slow to do that rotate, but fair enough. Fair enough. What started off as a strong pistol round just gets traded back instantly, and now Tabson. Going to find his opening kill on Yakinder. That was over towards A. This is a B stack. Well, two mid, two, uh, two B now. Four VP, but uh, oh man. Longest fight of their lives. Keto's going to find it. Zant Harris takes up one as well. And this is shaping up to be a very strong start here from Big. All the time in the world, they're just hunting for kills at this point. Sanji's on his own. We did run into Searson in a moment here. And there it is. Two rounds on the board now for Big. It's got to feel pretty good. Just building that economy and not losing anyone either. VP will have to maybe invest into a, a couple of light pistols here, but can't be that much more than that. So, yeah, this is, uh, again, we, we're just seeing it all the time now. You win the pistol, you use the follow-up round, you have to go into economy hell for a little bit. Jame, though, has 3,500, which is really good. Want that up on him ASAP. Let's say early nades again in case anybody was going aggressive. Sanji gonna back off. But this is a hard eco coming in from VP, yeah. They're just managing their economy. So should be a pretty straightforward uh, approach. Although the spot long range, USB's coming into it. Searson gonna get dinked. Has to be careful, does not want to be giving up anything. Big oh. should be able to survive all five in this. 
Yeah, especially with Tizian on this flank. That is uh, almost a shame that he's doing the same. I almost want him to stay hidden and never show himself in this round, just just to not give it away. Is he going to try and stab him out in the open? Oh. <laughs> James, not going to get caught. And now, yeah, now it's personal. Now they want to try and see if they can hunt him down. They've got him locked in. So I don't think he'll make it out of this one, but... Listen, I appreciate that from, from Tizian. That made it a much more fun round. Oh, picking yeah, up I'm another one. surprised, exactly. Just let Searson hunt him. Because now, yeah, oh, you're risking no. AKs. This got way more expensive. I think Searson's close enough to save one of the AKs. Yeah, okay, he managed <laughs> to get it. So they don't lose the AK, at least. But they lose two Galils and a Mac 10 Interesting. And that became way more expensive. And get got Jame enough kills that he could buy another couple of nades. Yeah. Well Still, then. Well played, Tizian. I mean, hey, dude, listen. I admire. I admire the try. Always go for the knife. Listen, it was... It was, it was definitely worth a try. In the end, it did cost them an enormous amount, but still, we do appreciate it. For the entertainment, three to one. And Jame, with that freshly bought AWP, going to be taking down Tabson as the first kill here in the fifth round. It's all the way over at the A ramp. Keto is down next. This is an absolute disaster. Oh, the scout is up, though. Seriously going to find it. Gets traded, though. Santaris, we lose. Searson with the run and gun. Daigle takes down Kicker at man advantage now. But Sanji is here, and he's playing it very patiently. Going to abuse this smoke, and I love this. Oh, he, does he get caught? All right, there's the flash. Okay, so they're waiting for the flash, and he gets the double. Okay, nicely done. I Because what I was thinking he was going to do there is just take advantage of, you know, it's a 3v2, but as soon as that bomb is getting planted, then it's a 3v1. So just charge in and, you know, take out Searson, take out whoever's not planting the bomb, and just win. But, uh... Right, the flash setup same was result. really awesome, wasn't it? Yeah, same result in the end. That worked out. So, a lot of, I mean, even if they hadn't, I think Buster got that second kill and Jame got the first one in that round. But the real problem for the T side is when you lose, when you lose all presence on the A ramp, and the V and VP, they were pretty far pushed up. They weren't falling back from it, so they can still see that no one was there. Mm. Then that B defense just becomes so much more secure. Like they can keep two people there, which they did. So yeah, I think the first order of business, if you're big, has to be to find a way to to force them back. Oh, that was a nice HE, wasn't it? Man. Follow up might be great as well. Yeah, Buster's there. He's going to get traded. So there's been quite a bit of action over towards the B side early on in these rounds. Buster, for once, he's just feeling, he's just loving it. He actually gets to do things at the beginning of the round, Anders. Number of times we've watched Vertigo where it's just all A ramp every freaking round. Yeah. And the poor B anchor is just like, well, yep, I'm, you know, I'll try and retake A for the 12th time. At least this time. A little bit of action here for Buster. He's not going to fall asleep. Oh, yeah, no. And you're right. I mean, it, it, it sort of has to be that way a lot of the time because, again, if you don't take the A ramp on the T side, I mean, it, you are signaling a lot of what's coming now. They've, they've sort of, they still have a jam pretty far up. But if he doesn't get the first shot here, James, and he, and he just goes down immediately, then there will be no warning for the people on the other side. So James' plan has got to be get a kill, fall back, call everyone else in, win the three versus four after plant or something like that. Let's see. Not quite seeing it yet. Now he knows, and he's going to take down Santaris. Easy shot there. Not even going to fall that far back. He's going to stick around, get smoked off. That is a bit of an issue. Sanji now showing up with a kill on Tabson. And yeah, they take down Jame, but 20 seconds here. The bomb making its way in. Grenade goes up, but you can not Maybe even could have kept going. Bombs being planted in the open. So Searson could have gotten sprayed down, but they did not know. A very hard after plant. Or you're still for for big, even if they have some help here. Oh. That's not oh. bad. Survives, but the smoke going down. That's an impeccable smoke. He's got the lineup. Well, he's lost the lineup now. Yeah, I like that. Just checking to make sure that he's got that lineup. Tishin is there. He's going to go ahead. Tishin nearly picking up the third. Kickert with three HP backing off and giving up. Not going to attempt to clutch it. He's decided I've had enough. I'm tapping out. That's it. All my friends are dead. I'm out of here. Wow. I'm actually kind of impressed that uh, that, that even worked out. It looked like uh, VP would have maybe had a chance to do that. So that's excellent from Big's point of view. Oh, Wait, as soon as James gets the first kill on on Santaris coming up, I actually thought now they're really screwed. Yeah, but um, James had to go and screw a smoke. Do you see that? 
Like there was a gap. There yeah. was enough of a gap there where Tishan could get through and not uh, get shot. So that was, uh, I mean, details, details. The devil's in the details right now. And um, big are doing to Virtus Pro what Virtus Pro did to big on Mirage, essentially. Just powerful plays coming through here on the side of big. And well, let's see. VP. No, not going to keep him alive. Your Kinder gets caught by Searson to kick things off. Kicker anchoring the B side with that M4. Has to be careful. Keto is definitely keeping tabs. Oh, gets spotted by Keto with the instant headshot. Fair play. That's, that's heads up. Buster actually getting uh, forced down here, picking up the M4, but they will have heard him running. More oh. people showing up to get uh, murdered by Keto. Who survives with one health. That's all you need, someone. It's true. It's very true, Anders. And there we go. Not even going for the knife, Tizian. What's up? For shame. Don't tell me you learned your lesson. You're supposed to get in there. You're supposed to wreck him. Yeah. Call him for a flashbang and knife him when he's blind. Uh, Do something. All right. What are we going to get here? I mean, VP have had success with the opening duels on uh, A ramp. I mean, could just post Jane back up over there with the AWP and uh, see if they can catch somebody from big. Not going to be the case, though. It's going to be Jane posted up in mid this time. Well, he's going to be waiting around for a good long while. All right. Buster not coming out on top of that spray fight. Kicker also walking into a grenade over there. So the beat defense is a little bit beat up. But I, I really like this double mid setup because it, it is so dynamic, right? It's practically having four people at B. Um, you can just a little bit far back on the A side. That's where I, I would have probably rather had JMB over there like he was the, the previous round with the AWP so that he can sort of, you know, snipe someone and throw back. Ooh, and Sanji goes down. They're still going to rotate JMB over to the A bomb side, which is interesting. Yeah, they feel something coming here. Flash, trying to create some room here. There it is. Misses the flick. Takes a lot of damage in that, but Yekinder now perfectly capable of holding his own and barreling forward. Gets a second kill through the molly he runs. That was sick. <laughs> what? That's how it's done. How does Zentaris not win that fight? Oh, man. Zentaris is going to be tilting into oblivion. 40 seconds now. Everyone has shown up. The bomb, well, not even being planted. Yakinda's back for more. Third kill in the round for him. And Tizzy and Akito, the only ones left to try and bring this back here. Now it's a two on two, admittedly. 27 seconds. They have the bomb. The problem with the running back, again, like, I mean, they can still walk for a, for a long while, but eventually they're going to have to uh, to start to make a little bit of noise here. And they might be far, they might be far enough away in time, yeah. So, yeah, I think Buster, he, heard, he hears it, and he still can't get there, so... Bold move from big, but it's it's paying off right now. They're going to get the bomb planted. There are no more grenades on anyone left at all. Talk about cutting it close. It's in one health, one second. It's all you need. Seriously. And now Buster. He's worried. There's They were worried. James is worried about a lurk on A as well. Did the guy move solo? Do we have to worry about yeah. flank? This is nightmare fuel for VP. They're not going to go for it. Yeah, they aren't even going for it. What a play from big. Six rounds on the board. We're about to have here for big. That's really cool. Some good stuff being brought out. And after that's after heroics, you know, the the play from Yakinder, man. Well, that's also, I mean, I don't know. There's so many different ways to think about it. Because if you contrast the way, like, a, a 6 to 2 lead is pretty good for big. But it's not really in the style of what VP were bringing into Mirage, right? Like, these, some of these rounds are very, very close. Like, just, you know, one little mistake here. And some, also some pretty big mistakes. I think Yekinda should have never been able to get this kill. It's so outrageous that he's actually able to pick this one up. And he ends up with a triple on that bomb side. Remember, it was just him and... Uh, for a while, it was just Yekinda. And then and then James sort of showed up. So Big had every chance to win the round outright on that bomb side. So 6-2 to two is good, but I, f I still feel like, you know, it's... It's a bit shaky. Oh, it's way too close for comfort right now for VP, especially after uh, Mirage and how things were going there. To see them struggle this much. Oh my god. <laughs> the timing for Searson. The boost up here from Santeros. He's been spotted though. Well, I'm not surprised he's been lost. He's still going to charge forward, looking for the fight, and he's going to get it. Buster takes a bullet to the face. 
And so Zantaris now finally getting some confidence here on his side, looking for these aggressive duels. James gets tagged, and right on the edge of the smoke, Zantaris is going to find a headshot on the Akin there, just chasing VP back. VP cannot get anything going for them here on this CT side. One after the other, they fall. It's absent on the outside of the building, just getting those shots. Santara's going, I don't even mind that he kept pushing. I, I want to see Santaris play his way into this game. And those fights right there, especially the first one, he knew he'd been spotted coming up, and he just said, that doesn't matter. Like, I am going to... And it's it, it and it's actually very important when you're playing that entry role. The problem is, if Santaris gets up there, and he just, you know, stands still to take that fight, and it's like, oh, he's going to surely peek behind out of the box at some point, his whole entire team have to stand still behind him, and, like, there's no space being created. When he runs in like this, he's allowing for, like, you know, the whole angle behind him to open up, and his team can join him. So I, I just love everything about this round from Santaris, and it's one of the things we've seen not nearly enough in this game so far against VP. Santaris has been not active enough and not, like, not had enough of an impact, so they're going to need him right here. Is he in those playing well in this game? Uh, in spite of the, the hilariously failed knife attempt earlier, he's 10-3. and three. He is doing, yeah. He has definitely woken up. Everybody here so far on big, I mean, it's a completely revitalized team. If you look at how things started out on Mirage versus how they're, they are now, I mean, they ended the first half with this many kills big on a Mirage across the board for themselves. Here, you know, it's like, hey, we're getting Tishin in double digits. Santeris is starting to get into the mix a little bit here. It's starting to look up. At uh, four rounds in a row for big. And a real dicey situation here for VP as they just cannot seem to get any money going their way. It's going to be the half buy coming in from Virtus Pro. And well, Big uh, continue to play aggressively. They've not really been given a reason to stop. I think that is the uh, the real big difference here is is that now finally for VP, you know, the money has is, is really been wrecked for them. They haven't been saving any of the guns or anything. Like previously, at least they would make it out with like the AWP and an M4 somewhere. But yeah, they're in they're in some trouble. Deep nade on Buster and with no armor. That is almost a death sentence. Seven to two. This forward push, while if it was in a rifle round, would be really devastating. In this round, not so much. I don't think Big really worry, even if they get funneled into this uh bomb site. I think they, they have all of the grenades to deal with it, so yeah, here we go. That's a lot of nades, a lot of Molotovs. Just all over the all over the bomb site. Entire Full bomb site's on fire. Yeah. Full execute. They woke up. And they knew what their favorite spell would be. And they know that there's a flank coming as well. Yeah, big are just they're well aware. See us in behind that little electric generator. Yeah, just in case you're wondering if this is your first match of CSGO, you get to witness. Uh we get to see the outlines of players through the walls. The players do not. And uh, so when they get these flanks dialed in, it's not because they can see anybody through the walls. It's all game sense. It's all game sense. It's all timing. And they're just that good. Yeah. It's really frustrating for me whenever I go back and I, you know, happen to find some time to play matchmaking. And I just, I'm so used to watching the game <laughs> in this fashion. So I'm like, oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, it's also worth uh, taking the time right now, guys, because we have more best of threes coming up. This is our first best of three of the day in the upper bracket. But um, follow the stream. Follow the channel if you are watching. Fnatic and MIBR follow. later. Fnatic and MIBR and, uh, well, plenty more coming up for the rest of this week. If you want to know when we're going live, if, you, uh, if you're if you just watching, be sure to follow the stream. You guys will be in on it. 8-2. to two. Big winning that round. VP back with a bye here. Whoever that lands Centaurus. on is going to be pissed. <laughs> Throwing flashbangs to the pedestrian stone. <laughs> it's a wild time. All right. Quick Molotov here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fair play. I actually thought he was facing the other way. Temporarily confused. But yeah, the wall bang as well. The follow up there. So if people get caught in it, not only are they on fire, but they get slowed down. Very frustrating. Yakinda, oh, he's so far out in the open. If he gets if he gets caught making that uh, that little journey, he's in trouble. He's already uh, got a smoke in hand, I think. Oh, he's going to be monitoring that. But yeah, there's the smoke. Grenade to follow it up. Yakinda comes right out, and they don't even check for it. Oh, man. That is some confusion. Mm. They still win the fight. Two on three now, but I'm so I'm so weirded out by how that played. Nicely done. The punish coming in here from Kicker. Best chance they've had so far, VP. Until you get that nade on Searson. He is gone out of the picture. It's a two on two. A Titian 
man's been hitting all of his shots, and he is in position to take point. As soon as the smoke clears, it's going to be him versus Buster. Who is quicker? Who is fast? Flash over the top, and that is just so unfortunate for Buster. Didn't see what hit him. That works very, very well. I mean, he's that's actually very smart from Tizian, right? He's expecting that they will flash through the smoke. So he's saying, well, if you're flashing through the smoke, you're probably throwing that you know, flashbang not right in front of it, but you know, just a little bit further in. Yep. So flashbang does nothing. Buster comes running through with his back turned, and it's all just good. This is the part that I was so, I was so confused about Keto. Because he'd thrown the Molotov. Did you not see that it was put out? I don't know. There's a lot of things going on there that I wasn't... Maybe we'll never know. Yeah, you get that, where it's the teammate that uh, puts the smoke out. Got a bit games. Ooh, nicely done, though. Yukinder finally. He has all of the team there, all four, ready for big. Zantara's going to catch Sanji pushing. So we're back into a four-on-four, four, and now Tizian is going to catch him on the rotate. This is getting nasty. Kicker, though, going to catch Tizian. It's back into a three-on-three. Yeah, but James, no one spotted him. He's back here. If they assumed that he was part of that push over at the B-bomb site, and he could just lurk around. The bomb is being planted, and James is still waiting. Now they're walking up behind him. They are actually checking for it, but Tabs is still going down. Sears him with a bit of a follow-up, and man, if James would have also somehow landed that long-range shot on Sears, that would have been really awkward. Now Buster, he does have a Molotov. If he can make it a one-on-one, -on -one, there's a chance here, but it's going to have to be really quick. Oh, unfortunately, unreal. Searson misses the shot with the op, and then he gets the headshot with the deagle. There's no beating him right now. 10 to 2 in favor of Big right now on the T side. A completely revitalized team. They are in total control. And it's kind of outrageous that BP after Barrage going so strong on Barrage, they are just getting absolutely demolished here. How? How is that even possible? It's so weird. Yeah, I mean... You know, on the one hand, it could be hard to keep up that level that they were playing at. Oh, Getting comedy nade. But um, I mean, so, so I mean, it could be hard for VP to keep up that level. And I'm, and again, big, I'm sure we're we're sort of walking out of that feeling like, all right, clearly we do not have the focus that we needed. So yeah, probably just uh, a little bit of both. Searson trying to repeat the last round. Looked like he got stuck on the wall, and I don't know how. Yeah, that was weird. Or he just gave up on life. Just accepted. What's gonna happen? Oh. Nice shots. That's incredible. It is just standard that at some point somebody's gonna have to win a round with pistols like this. Well, Tizian, it's been the main engine here for them on this map. Trying to spread it, it gets the headshot through the smoke. And it's back into a two on two, though. James has just shown up with the AWP. Tizian's very, very low on health, so. Oh, looks like they're going to try and maybe run boost their way in. Running right into the crosshair. It almost looked like that they were just feeding Jame at that point in time. And there's a flank coming in from Yakindam. He <laughs> double scopes just to make absolutely sure that he was not going to miss that kill. I appreciate that nice shot from Tizian. Man, he's a god in this game. 17 and 4. Can he get the last shot on Jame? 35 seconds here. Needs another bullet for the quad kill, or maybe two actually. Sneaking around on the outside. Do not fall off the building, whatever you do. Jump. It would be epic if you did it, but it is a huge risk. <laughs> He's backing off 20 seconds. He's going to make some noise, actually. And surely, yeah, Jame going to take up position, walking a little bit further forward. Tissian has got the right idea, though. He knows he could be there. Aiming for it right here. Oh, it's going to come down to a split second for Jame. He has to hit the shot instantly. It's right over in there, Tissian! Oh, my God. Quad kill for him. Bringing it back. That was a two-on-four that he just won for his team. So sick. Redemption time for Tizian. After Mirage, he is doing everything here. You, That was such a great description. You know, the main driver, the engine behind Big's offense here. He has just been opening up everything, creating so many opportunities, and then just locking it down. Cool as could be. That's just an excellent round from Tizian. And, well, that's 11-2. In the first half here for Big, again uh, with the aggression here for EP, hoping to slow them down. Zantara's going to die, and there it is, the follow-up. Buster doing a fantastic job. Three kills for Buster, looking for the quad. Not quite going to find it, though, but that bomb has been dropped right in front of him, and now this gets to turn into the shooting gallery. That is an absolutely outrageous display from Buster. He's... He's all in on that play. You, you can even tell he's not thinking about falling back because he kind of knows that's not going to happen. Tizian and Tabs and now two versus five. Made it a two on four. They know there's a flank coming and you can just got to be careful he doesn't do this way too early so that they just read it. Although his time, yeah. This is, again, he's such a smart player. This is so good. 
You've got a three-man defense on the other side. Why, you know, why give them another kill before they get into the bomb site? There's Tizian with one tapping through. Actually, could have maybe worked out. And, yep, they know about the flank as well. Tizian just continuing. What is it going to take to take him down right now? He's looking for it. He's got a triple. Last time was a quad kill for the clutch. Oh, and he actually had the right idea, but now tabs in. He should have been dead already, but Jame missed the shot. I can't believe it. Yakinda coming in as well, trying to go for it. They count to three, and they just overwhelm him. Man, hard round to win for VP, in spite of it being a two on five. And well, that was despite Tishin's best effort. Seven kills in two rounds, Sanders. And we're not even done with the half. There's gonna be another chance here for Tishin to extend that to just keep wreaking havoc. Uh, VP, they survive with both AWPs. Buster with the heroic effort at the start here to slow things down, to stop big. Three kills, and it still goes down to a clutch. Yeah, nicely done there from VP. So three rounds on the CT side. Best case scenario now for Virtus Pro is that they get four in this first half. Big, fully bought up. Virtus Pro pretty much fully bought up. Sanji has to go for a FAMAS. But the firepower is here, and so now we got to see. VP, can they salvage something here? Can they end strong? James taking a bit of damage, I think, from a grenade thrown over the wall there in middle. Deep nade on the box as well. Look cool, didn't do that much, but... Again, they're leaving this A bomb site defended by one person. This this. Sh theoretically should be a pretty uh, dangerous setup if if, B if if you know if big have done the research if they're watching the demos and they know but they're not seeing anyone in middle vp so now they just rotate everyone back and now now it should be working out deep smoke they're gonna go actually take a look at the ramp here really forward defense from vp it's all or nothing if they don't win this fight and yeah they run right into just a, a firing squad on that side and that's a problem here a 15th round so they're gonna have to go for it vp but yeah, that was that was probably the worst timing they could have had to go and check that ramp. Yeah, it was just a second too late. The flash was ineffective. Taps and ate that HE, but James gets traded back equal amounts of damage, and they are both very low. Man advantage still for big. Bomb getting planted, and now the clock is ticking on Virtus Pro. They have two smokes to work with, so that's actually fairly nice. Could try and look to uh, exactly get this smoke down to block off ramp and give a little room here to maneuver with. Yeah, but the bomb is not planned default, so that smoke, I mean, it still does something, but not what they really would love, which is for it to also block the bomb. We're going to find Tabson. Tizian is still alive, and that has proven to be a real problem uh, so far here on the map. Centaur is going down next, still a 2-1-2. Two -two. They do have a kid, but Searson walking right out, and I don't think Buster could have seen that. I think he might have been scoped up looking at something else. 12-3 to three at the end of the half. It's not quite the 13-2 that VP had on the first half of Mirage, but it's in terms of revenge, it's pretty high up there. And Tizian ending the half at 22-5. and five. What a god. I want to see him continue doing this into the second half. That's coming up after the break. said to himself, I'm going all in. I'm just putting school aside, every plans that I have. And that's the person he is. When he wants something, goes for it and hope for the best. Just giving it all. For me, uh, an in-game leader is just as important as a star player and they both need each other really. The most important thing of, of a leader in Counter-Strike is just someone to look at and just be like, yeah, we're gonna do this and it's gonna work. Maybe it's the completely the wrong tactic, but if you believe enough in it and you do it well, then it can always work. And that for me is the most important thing of having a leader.
if you go and look at the case of Ben Tech coming from Indonesia, there's basically no reason actually as to why a player would make it from there. The fact that he basically even got to become someone that Westerners would know and want to recruit, I think it's one of the most unlikely stories probably in Counter-Strike history. Adam's strength has always been that no matter what, he doesn't really give in. He is never the one to kind of admit that someone's better than him. The mindset for him is that he's better than everyone else and he wants to go and prove it. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 12 to 3, and we're moving into the second half, second map here at Flashpoint between Virtus Pro and the Big. And we've got some sort of strange role reversal going on. Um, suddenly, it's Big that are in the driver's seat here. I don't think, I think their win wasn't, it didn't look nearly as dominant, but in terms of actual rounds, it was. So, who cares? What if some of those rounds were close two on twos? I don't think Big care. I don't think VP are going to care either. Right now, they're just struggling. VP just want to get this map over with already so that they can move on to the next one. <laughs> They're like, all right. I up. mean, you could put a fight up here. You could try and battle back. Of course, that's what Big uh, did on Mirage. Made it a little bit closer. But this has been such a dominant first half for Big that uh, life is going to be very difficult indeed for VP. So let's see. VP already not quite going to be peaking. It is actually going to be a very early <laughs> attempt at taking over B. Pretty much exactly yes. the strategy that we saw from uh, Big. You're absolutely right. It is very, very similar in nature. And so, well, a lot of this will come down to whether or not Keto can hit at least one shot and stay alive or, or two and die. I think those are the options. If anything outside of that, and it's not going to end well. Keto, he's up close. They're not quite checking. It's shooting blind. He's going to get that one nearly. He could have had the double, but they will also take down Tabson in the meantime. And the rest of them are ready. Bombs are miles away. So bomb is going to be planted, and they're going to have plenty of time to you know, hide on that bomb site. In fact, Kicker is, uh, is making sure there are no flanks. So they actually know everything that's coming here. You kind with a good kill. Going to try and follow it up, and it'll just be Tizzy and left. And this time, there's no tricks up his sleeve. He'll go down. VP with a, just a nicely executed round. Yeah, the raid boss Tishin has been laid low. VP have collected the loot of a one pistol round. And, well, uh, the fight continues. We shall see now, VP. Are they capable of running it all the way back? Big are going for the force buy at the top. Okay, then. That's just a tough one for... Uh, man. Who was it that was hard holding on that side at the beginning? Keto. Yeah, it was Keto. Where you're crouched behind that box like that, you can't see the number of nades coming in. Yeah. And so, I mean, I guess you're getting flashed, and then it happens very quickly, but you're losing that split-second reaction. Whoa, wall bangs. Both sides taking a bit of damage here. Are these, it's cool that they're trying all these nades. They, I wish they would have done more damage. I feel like they had the, the right idea on the big side there. You can't look like you took it very personally every time they threw grenades. You're just firing back bullets at them. But. Oh, Zantaris just ate one. There are four people at the A-bomb side, so they have they have some some presence here. Tabson, he's close enough with that P250, right? One bullet headshots here, even if they have head armor. So he's got the right idea. He's going to be charging through, but they are so well prepared. Nice uh, job on Sanji. All the angles watched. That was really clean. So now, Searson. We've seen what this mad lad is capable of. Uh, eats that flash, though, and so he's not going to see a damn thing. And his teammates are all going to die for horrible deaths. I mean, still, I mean, it feels like this guy's always going to get at least one kill. He is so consistent right now on this map. Oh, a little bit of... Oh! Nice! <laughs> what a trick. Are they going to try it again? Searson, has he got the angle? He does more damage. He can... Oh, he's just... Well, he's going to make it into Keto's Deagle. Now it's a two-on-two. Two. Uh, it's very fun, isn't it? Game, easy shot there. Don't know why it took so long. Buster will follow up with that one. It's almost like he's checking for bullet holes in that box. Was, yeah, he was, I think he was looking for the pistol. What's going on? All right. 
Pete's looking for that deeg. VP will still win the round, so fair play. Yeah, that was uh, solid, but Searson with the clever stuff. Always love to see those wall bangs, especially on the on the default lineups. It's like you should really have all of the nades and some wall bangs lined up on all the default plants on all these maps. Because it's just, you know, if they're always going to plant there, then you should figure out to have, you know, just have a couple of things that can be really annoying to punish that. Uh, it is going to be a fifth round on the board for VP Big. This time around, just pistols and nades, not full buying, saving some money for the next round. To be expected. Yeah, this is all pretty much, uh, you know, the calm before the storm, you have to assume that Big are also going to be fairly well prepared for the CT side. Although, again, I mean... This isn't their map. This is VP's map. It is VP's map. But we also got, we got a little bit of a taste of how much Big actually were able to run it back on Mirage. Like, it wasn't ever that they were going to really make the overtime or anything, but it, it was enough that, you know, it was a 13-2 first half, and they and they still, you know, made made a little bit of a fight out of it. So 12-3 to three here. You win the pistol round. You will win the following three rounds. You, you get to 12-6. That can that can be run back if you're a, if you're a VP, right? And you can start to add that up. Some good uh, kills coming out in their favor here. Jim checking the grenade. <laughs> yeah. Listen. He's being thorough, isn't he? That's a very nice take. This is as clean as it gets. Very nicely done. Going to get a sixth round on the board here for Virtus Pro and Tishin. Oh, there's the whole lot he can hope to do here. If he could catch one of those AKs out, that would be brilliant. But they're all playing it safe, and they're all in positions where, uh, I mean, there's no, it's, there's no need to push. There's no need to push this Buster. All right, Buster's going to spot him right on the edge. Had the angle. All right, let's see. Yeah, now now is the, f the first sort of real test here. Because this is, I mean, this is where the game gets so interesting. If VP win this round, then, you know, they could they can go from being like 12-3 to 12-8. To yeah. Without Big having a lot to say about it. I mean, this is one of the few rounds where they do have something. And 12 8 is still like a, it's just a little good lead for Big. They're still probably going to be like, all right, yeah, we'll still have a little bit of a buffer. But at that point, it's it's certainly a game once again. So this round could be real interesting. Nice find. Buster actually making himself very hard to find there. Tizzy has got, nope. Oh, he's got some backup over here. I was about to say he's got none, but there was some. Uh, Keto behind him. I was a bit worried about him pushing up on his own like that, but yeah, now they're just limiting the map control a lot for uh, for VP. And Terrace won that fight. Bit of an off angle, and they're being very aggressive here. Now, now they should stop being aggressive though. They're still winning that fight, and they might win the follow up. But I, I think that would have still probably would have been better. Tabs him with a nice triple though, but it's a bit worried that they were out in the open swinging for uh, for that particular fight. Yeah, that's cr this is crazy though. But if that, if those guys who anchor A are gonna start waking up, life is gonna get real difficult for VP for the next for the next few rounds. It's like they ran into Tision, figured out where Tision was, like crap. I right, get away from this dude. Go to the other side. Yeah, and I, you know, I was it's true. And I was mentioning Santaris earlier as being one of the players they needed to do a lot. And I mean, he's up there at 16-12. He's he's the second in in place for uh, behind Tizzy, and who's 25 and eight. So I mean, that's ridiculous. But Tizian is having a bit of a crazy map though, to be fair. Nice nade. Oh, he saw that. Yakinda, he really wants to go for it. He nearly takes the face off of Searson up there. No money in the bank after this for VP. If they fail this round, I, I don't think any kind of a comeback is going to be possible. So, oh, did they see that? They did. Oh, he still wins it. That is remarkable. I don't know why. I mean, he might be dead anyway here because Buster... No, he's going to find Buster anyway. Buster had all of the information. Finally, they take him down, but that was really odd. And in the meantime... What? Oh, Tizzy oh, just went for a dive. You <laughs> know why? What did he do? What have you done? All right, hold on. We got to see this. There's still Santeris. Oh, Santeris saves it. Xanteris with the double kill just saved that round. And VP have got to be wondering themselves, what the hell is going on over there? But <laughs> Tizen, I mean, we're going to see what happened. That's too much. There was, there was no one near him, I think. There was, like, no tease that he was even trying to... I don't even know. Maybe he was looking at a teammate's uh, screen for a second there to see the line. That, that's what can happen. I mean, Big's advantage is that they are playing uh, out of their office, out of their headquarters. <laughs> All right. All right, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Listen, 
he did he 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 did also do the cardinal sin as he was you know stay, taking a step back. He's like, look down. That's the first thing. Don't look down, right? But dude, that's I mean, th think about how nerve wracking it is to anchor B, where it's like being surrounded by lava or something. You just can't one false step, Anders. They do have a railing up there. You can not climb the railing if you you know. <laughs> just saying. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> oh. He nearly does it again. That's inc that's a very cool spot. I haven't seen that before. That's sick. It's all, all obviously also risky, especially now because now he is playing alone, whereas before he at least had someone with him. Santara's gonna get overrun. A little bit of a lineup there. Sisson falling back. He's so confident and would have nearly got that kill on Sanji. I think it's still fine. Sanji's picked up an AK, but not much he could do with it. Tabson will find him, and that will be a 15th round for Big to the 6 of VP. Hmm. Yeah, we are gonna, we're definitely gonna see that third map. Yeah. Which is good news. It's overpass too, which is gonna be fun. Uh, there's, that's gonna put a lot of pressure on Jame, uh, just because it feels like uh, VP have not got their overpass dialed in right now. It's, it's still a bit touch and go. When we see them do well, it feels like uh, a lot of that is riding on Jame and his individual performance. If I can, if I could see the Jame of Mirage on overpass, I'm gonna be quite happy. You can ask playing well all the time now. He's just always good. Oh, yeah. grenade! That is a that's an that's a really good grenade. Curious though. Let's see. Big step. Tabzin gets uh, peaked. And this is going to be the big line. Tijin one for one. Keto setting it up. And Tabzin with a quick rotate. Man advantage going into the retake now for big. Tabzin's got to be careful though. Yakinder's able to get down without making noise. And now he's going to have to worry about uh, the flank coming in. And Yakinder losing the duel. Anders, you cursed him. I know. It's terrible. He's still a 17 and uh, 19, so. Still think he's doing a pretty good job. Tabson also put up a Molotov to stop Buster from putting the bomb down when all of this was happening. So that just bought all the time in the world. And yeah, Buster can't really do anything here. I mean, he can hope for a big mistake. Um, but other, other than that, short of that, they're just going to wait him out. And as soon as he goes for the bomb plant, it's uh, it's going to be bad. Might as well do it now, Buster, because, you know, soon there'll be 10 seconds left and then you can't even fake it. So he's... Waiting and he's he's hoping, praying that that someone is going to give him a chance here to at least make it a one on two, and they're not that friendly, are they? So yeah, a lot of restraint here, which is what you'd want to see. And Buster being forced to just just keep moving up, keep trying to do it, and with the health that he has, there is just absolutely no way. And now pushed up behind him, Sirson as well, but it'll be Santaris to take him down, 16 to six, as Big will push us on to a third map, and that will be on overpass here. So we're going to find a way to decide this series one way or another. But yeah, what a comeback for a big in the series. That's really important. It's so important. It's so crucial. And also goes to show just how good they are. What's up, Fillion? Back around with the Media camera. man for big. Baller, ex-media man for room on fire back in the day. We are going to go to a break. And when we come back, we'll have the desk in the third map. So stay tuned.